In the Olympics, medals are awarded as gold, silver, and bronze. But in everyday life, we know that platinum level is one of the highest or most valued levels we can aspire towards, be it credit cards, reward levels, music, industry record sales, or jewelry. Sometimes referred to as rich man's gold, platinum has also become this forgotten monetary metal. And when this video is over, I think you'll be as convinced as I am that despite its volatility, platinum presents one of the greatest investment opportunities that could easily outperform the other gray metal, meaning silver, provided you got a stomach for it. Platinum is when you asked what can outperform silver, my answer is right away platinum, because it, it, it really is so undervalued. It's much more speculative in my mind than silver. So it's not, you know, makes up a relatively small percentage of my portfolio. I want to have 20% of my physical metal and platinum. That's my goal. While gold and silver rightfully receive most of the attention, particularly in this current environment, at the same time, platinum is at half of its all-time high and is positioned for significant growth over the next five years. Would you believe me if I told you that since 1950, platinum has outperformed gold and silver as inflation rises? Take a look at this chart on the screen. I apologize for the poor quality. Before we really dig in, I want to set the stage a little bit more because for more than a year, I have watched platinum prices and really struggled with the decision of if and when I should actually venture into the platinum metal group. And a week ago, I finally pulled the trigger. Luckily for me, I did so before the recent price spike and I was able to pick up this beautiful platinum eagle and this Valcambi platinum bar from Pimbex when spot was at $857. Shout out to Pimbex, by the way. You know, I always tell y'all to start at findbullionprices.com. Well, you might have to start at there and at pimbex.com because they were $33 less than the lowest price listed on findbullion.com. Check them out. But why did I finally pull the trigger? Three very important reasons. One, Platinum's market conditions. Two, the current state of my personal stack. And three, what I've learned from Rick Rule. As a speculator, you like situations where it's not a question of if an asset will perform, but a matter of when, as well as you want to buy things when they are fundamentally solid, but publicly unwanted or unloved. Wait, really, which, which one of you guys did that? That's just childish and unnecessary. So, so what if I have a little bit of a crush on Rick Rule? Who cares? Ugh. Where was I? Well, let's just use that interruption as a segue into the market conditions and fundamentals. Seriously? Segway, you know I meant Segway. I have to tell you, you guys are acting really funny today in class. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with y'all. At any rate, let's talk a little bit about the history of platinum as it's one of the six platinum group metals, which most of us only really know about the other two, rhodium and palladium. Come on, I promise I'll make this quick. Thanks to its higher boiling point and the fact that it rarely occurs in this natural form, platinum actually wasn't discovered until 1735. Since it is 30 times rarer than gold, it's considered one of the rarest precious metals in the world. Fun fact, all the platinum ever produced would only cover your ankles in an Olympic sized swimming pool, while all the gold produced would fill more than three Olympic style swimming pools. While it's mainly used in automotive and jewelry application because of its density and it, it being very malleable and ductile, some of what makes platinum unique is that it can be hammered or pressed into a shape without cracking or breaking, and it can be stretched without ever losing its toughness. Another fun fact, one gram of platinum can be stretched into a wire that's over a mile long. Just one little gram, pretty cool. Historically, platinum has been more valuable than gold, but today it sits in the low 900s while gold sits in the low 1700s. Over the long term, it's traded an average price of 1.25 to two times the price of gold. Today it trades at 0.53 times the price of gold. One of the major downsides to platinum investing is that it is a volatile asset. In 2008, the price exceeded $2,300 an ounce, and later that same year, it had dropped into the $800 range. There have been only four occasions during the last 40 years where platinum has been priced at a discount to gold for a substantial or sustained period of time. In all of these cases, the price recovered significantly the following year. As a downside to our current situation, platinum performs well during periods of economic recovery largely because of how it's almost exclusively used in vehicles, industrially, and as jewelry. So I'd be remiss if I also didn't point out, though, that platinum has outperformed gold during financial crises, specifically the 2008 financial crisis, when platinum outperformed gold by between 30 to 65%. 
And now platinum is trading at a historic undervaluation relative to palladium, relative to gold, and even relative to silver. When they're looking for undervalued contrarian investments, you know, platinum just makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. If you're receiving value from this video and appreciate the educational material, or you want to help stackers reach more people, could you please hit the like button? Thank you so very much. Also, watch out for the next video because in that video, I'm going to be giving away some silver eagles from Pimbax. And there's actually a cool story behind these silver eagles here. Thank you again to the fellas at Pimbex. Couldn't ask for a better channel partner. Also, congratulations to Adam Jam and ARS757 for being the first people to type in adaptability in the comments from the last video. For the record, I swear it was not fixed that Adam Jam was going to win because he's a channel member. But it just might say something about being a channel member and being able to come up with the first answer. I'm just saying. You can join at any time, just click the blue button underneath this video and you can get more information. In terms of supply and demand, what I love about platinum is that it's only really mined in South Africa and Russia. And we all know about the drama that's going on with Russia, which means any disruption to mining or the supply chain can have a real impact on price. Additionally, the extraction is extremely challenging and usually mined with other base metals such as nickel, copper, and chrome. It's also important to note that mining one ounce of platinum costs around $900 all the way up to $1,100. We are basically buying right now at the cost of mining. Currently, it's estimated that the demand for platinum will grow by 7 million ounces across the globe over the next few years. Because of its limited supply, it's believed that the cost of platinum will rise quickly. Platinum has always had a high demand and high value. So if you're keeping score at home, here's what we have. We have a monetary and industrial metal that is 60% off of its all-time high, trading significantly below the price of gold, where it has historically been 1.25 to 2 times higher the price of gold. It's trading at an all time low in terms of ratios in comparison to gold and silver, limited supply and mining in areas where a disruption could cause the price to skyrocket. It's interchangeable with palladium, which is actually currently trading at 2.5 times the price of platinum. We can buy it right now at close to production costs of $900 to $1,100. And then we have speculators like Rick Rule. Seriously, real mature, you guys, real mature. You better hope I don't find out who's doing that. At any rate, Rick Rule said, something where price has to go up and can go up is a circumstance where the price will go up. He also stated, you make money by employing new ideas in old places or old ideas in new places, but never by employing old ideas in old places. Buying platinum now is an old idea in a new place, meaning buying a highly undervalued asset when it's out of favor or dare I say unloved. Or you can just listen to what Steve Penny has to say here. If, if platinum returned to its historic ratio, you know, platinum would outperform, it would outperform silver by a factor of five to return to that previous ratio that we saw about 15 years ago. And um, I don't remember... Uh, platinum to gold ratio, but it's undervalued. It's deeply undervalued. Mm -hmm. And there are just small instances of these historic anomalies going back for you know decades where platinum traded at a, a discount to gold and to palladium. You know, and th those historically present opportunities. And we're seeing a historic undervaluation of platinum right now. So yeah, I think, you know, it, let's just say silver goes to 50. That's a, let's call that a double. And platinum outperforms silver by two. That would be a quadruple in platinum. So that would be $4,000 platinum. And I think that's pretty conservative over the next, you know, one to five years. Well, and, and I, I didn't want to sound outlandish. Um, I think 4,000 is very conservative. But let's say silver, the silver to platinum ratio returns to its previous high. That would mean platinum outperforms silver by five. And if you think silver is going to 100, that's a 4X on silver. That would be a 20x on platinum from here. So that's $20,000 platinum. And that's just, that would just be history repeating, returning to those ratios. I suspect by now you've already made up your mind whether this is an investment you're going to consider. So let me dig a little deeper into why I am acquiring platinum now. One, as I shared earlier, I'm finally comfortable with my gold and silver holdings, which allows me to feel more comfortable with introducing the volatility of platinum into my portfolio. As some have said, buy gold, and when you feel you've had enough, then buy platinum to diversify. Two, I don't like what's going on in the silver market. I'm not 100% convinced that this rally really has legs and enough backbone to stay above $20. And suddenly inventories have essentially dried up and pr premiums are rising, making it less of a value. Remember, price and value are very different. 
The time to really accumulate silver was under $19, or it will be if it returns to being under $19. I also don't like this idea of locking in a price today for a product that I won't receive for four to six weeks. If the price drops and I'm already locked in at this higher price without the product, that feels like a terrible situation. I also understand that the price could go up, but again, I'm not convinced that this is the real rally here. I think people were in search of a reason to rally. Three, Platinum presents the greatest value in terms of current price and potential upside. Basically, the risk reward assessment is in our favor and I'm buying close to the, the cost of production price. Four, it's good for speculation. There's nothing like buying something when it's unloved and even with its latest price run up, it's still 60% below its all time high and we're entering the final leg of a bull market. And related to that, I can get these bars for 8% premium. I only need a small price increase just to break even. So the volatility or the wall price movements won't bother me as much. No, you don't need to go spend the extra $50 like I did to get this pretty Eagle coin. It's also very good for diversification, which is the sixth reason. So in the comment section, answer this. Do you own any platinum? If so, how much? If you don't own any platinum, did this video help you decide one way or another? Which reason or market condition seems the most compelling to have you invest in platinum? And do you plan to buy it in the future? If you're hearing these words, you are my A plus students. Always stack smarter, never stop learning.